Hi, I'm Erwin Planke, and I'm the president of the Ghent Beer Society. So uh, we're a beer club starting uh, at, at uh, 2009, and we are organizing our 13th edition of the Ghent Beer uh, um, Festival. Festival. Yeah. And the name of your club in Flemish is Ghentse Biervereniging. Yeah. Why was it started, it's and what do you, what are kind of the values you uphold in promoting, I guess, Belgian uh, beer and Belgian beer style? As, as all things in life, it started with a bunch of friends that had uh, some uh, some things in common. Like they liked more than just the ordinary beers, and they were looking forward to the next beer, and they were looking for next beers. So they started this uh, club, and ver very soon after it, they started the festival too. Um, we uh, entered uh, Zitos at one moment. We're not uh, part of Zitos anymore, but we still uh, subscribe to the mission of it. But we broaden it because we think a Belgian beer uh, uh, culture uh, has an impact on the international beer culture and it resonates. So we get uh, a lot back from uh, international beer scenes. And we also get a lot of uh, influences in our Belgian uh, uh, beer culture. We had a first craft brew, uh, wave, a uh, second craft wave. And although it seems that everything is uh, beer geeky now, you still have the, f the profound stability of uh, Belgian beer culture uh, guiding us through all of this uh, amazing flavors and uh, um, whatever yeast can do, whatever hops can do, uh, whatever uh, the, the, the water uh, can, can do. Uh, a, a lot of brewers uh, make amazing beers and it doesn't matter if they, if they have been uh, busy for 30 years, for 50 years, if they're just starting for one year. There's a lot of things going on and it's amazing to uh, to be part of that uh, beer scene be to 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 experience all the new beers all the uh, all, all the novelties that are introduced into uh, beer making uh, recently the uh, beer was made without any hops with uh, a, a lot of um, um, <laughs> a lot of um, um, extra additives but it, was, it ended up to be an amazing beer. Uh, there's no boundaries. You have the, 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 the core thing, uh, beer as we know it, uh, say for like 50 years. But if you go back in history, it, it, was, it wasn't always like that. So we're at a, at a point where uh, all kind of technological uh, novelties and the wish to make uh, alcohol free and alcohol uh, uh, poor uh, uh, beers uh, all these things uh, society wants makes uh, makes a lot of things happen in the, in the beer world. So that's amazing. What are the, you mentioned the trends and the influence of the international. What would you say is the core of the Belgian beer spirit? Uh, the, the core of the Belgian beer spirit is, uh, well, I, yeah, it used to be like uh, family breweries and brewing uh, just uh, next to the church and uh, every little community having its own uh, beers, which uh, after a while we, we, we came to know the local beers as streak beer. But then it ended up on uh, making, ma making a lot of different beers, making new beers and um, uh, do, doing new stuff which isn't streak beating anymore which isn't uh, specific for the local beers but it's which is specific for the brewers so uh, it started as family brewers and now it's like uh, more more of a friendship thing uh, if, if you would see it in, the, in an American uh, um, uh, fiction uh, uh, series uh, they, they would uh, Americans call uh, the people they work with their family at sometimes. Well, it's it's like that. The brewers uh, start to be become a family uh, at this moment. There's uh, a lot of collabs going on, 
and the spirit of, uh, of it all is making decent beers, uh, which, which people like, but also experimenting uh, um, in, in every possible way. So. And it will live long. This, this core tradition that's being changed and yes. you know uh, being experiencing the pressures, whether economic or not, but also the influences from outside, it's inevitable to be the change. Uh, true, but um, I, I think because of uh, COVID and, uh, and all stuff, there has been a lot of changes um, for, for, for pubs, for uh, brewers. Uh, it has been hard times and we still see that it's still going on and still uh, making casualties. But on the other side, there's uh, an optimistic way of, uh, of, of, of starting new things. And uh, there's a lot of optimism um, in, in, uh, in the beer scene at the moment. Uh, and some uh, optimism comes not from the brewers, but from the people drinking the beer, the, the enthusiasts, the, uh, the beer geeks, but uh, so also everybody who like starts you. drinking beer. Um, everybody starts with the obvious things. Uh, we all start with Belgian triple, but uh, at some point, people who are really interested start to taste the gauzes, the stouts, and it's like music. When you when you say stout, it's like metal. You have all these kinds of uh, subdivisions of, of of metal, hard rock, uh, whatever, and um, this is this is the way. The, 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 if you dig deeper and you get sucked into it, then you see that it's such a great, such a big world. And then you meet enthusiasts, uh, brewers who, who like this style or brewers who, who are fond of like the, the old historian beers and uh, they pick them up again. And it's, uh, it's an amazing thing going on. Not typical Belgian, uh, but we see it here uh, in, in, a, in, in, in great amount. Um, I also see that uh, that's kind of rise in in, uh, in Germany, for instance. Um, I think we we are at a growth where, um, um, for instance, American brewers probably have a, a different kind of crisis at this moment, uh, while we are like resetting to to build up to a, a new growth. I think we are ready for the third wave. What's the spirit of Ghent and the passion from Ghent? We are uh, a beer society and a beer club and we have a beer festival. We just want to make it cozy. We want to, uh, our, um, our motto is dare to taste, durven proeven. So we just want people to taste beers, um, uh, find their ways into it, give them some explanation about it, guide them uh, through, through all the the abundance of, of uh, styles and we're just doing it to, to have a, 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 co a cozy social event um, and there's a lot of uh, th there's a lot of love going around uh, in the in the beer world so uh, it's it attracts uh, a lot of new people and it's a lot of fun it is thank you Erwin. thank you welcome for the beer